and this is basically trying to get all the air bubbles out if there are any in the clay. Lots of, lots of water. Decisions have to be made at this time of what kind of shape you want to have. If I don't throw for a month or two, I'm a little rusty at first. And we're going to put some definition on it. You want a nice smooth surface. See how this firing came out. Looks pretty good. I grew up in Southern California by the beach. I launched the career there after I uh, married my wife. She basically runs the, the business and I do the creative work. She does all the hard things, I do the fun things. We were living in Ojai, California, and we were renting a house, and it's really difficult with the, the amount of money it costs to buy a house. So we, we visited Fort Wayne, and we realized that we could uh, have a ceramic business and buy a house at the same time, which was kind of unusual in California, almost impossible. The, the mindset of the Midwestern ceramic art lover is very strong out here. They really know what they're looking at. They enjoy quality craftsmanship. I think we're on like 18 years uh, that we've been here. Clay body that I use fires up a little lower temperature so I can achieve a lot more color than high fire ceramics where you, you have a lot of browns and greens. And I use a lot of, I use some koi fish and I use some, I do some snakes and frogs and salamanders, things that nature um, has kind of inspired me to do. They were a natural part of my designs. I wanted to put something on that I really liked. There'll be weeks at a time where all I do is throw pots, trim pots, and build onto them. And they all sit sometimes for a month or so before I even start applying any glaze or underglaze. And then the process of glazing and firing and then glazing again and firing again, that's all uh, kind of a, a secondary thing. There were times when I was painting that um, I thought, well, maybe I'll just you know, slip into being a painter for a while and, and not work with clay, but it draws you back in. I feel really uh, lucky to be making a living at something that I really love to do. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. Business is tough sometimes, but the work isn't. The work is always there. Um, it's always a wonderful thing to be creative. There's been times where I'm thinking to myself, well, how long will I be a potter, you know? And um, I, I hear of people, you know, retiring, and um, it doesn't, that doesn't sound uh, very appealing to me. I wanna, I wanna work forever.